Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So this is chapter one, Meta DK014 MNKML. So this chapter consists of four sub chapters or subtopics. Okay. So in this particular video, we're going to focus on 1.1 definition and classification of Meta. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to define Meta and classify Meta into pure substance. Okay, consists of elements and compounds and also mixture which are homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture so yeah guys you are meta i am also meta and we are all matters so what are matters actually so meta ataupun jirim are anything that occupies space and has mass yang apa-apa yang memenuhi ruang dan juga memiliki jisim it is considered as matter now let's have a look at the contoh-contoh. Contoh-contoh huh? matter. These are matters. Zebra, okay, any animals. Yeah, the clouds, the air, the ocean, the sea. Semua itu adalah matter. So matter may consist of atoms, molecules, ataupun ions. Okay. And ada tiga states of matter. Solid, liquid, or gas. Okay. Now matter, ini yang paling penting. Matter can be classified into pure substance and mixture. Just like this, okay. And then pure substance pula boleh lagi dipecahkan kepada elements and compounds. While mixture can be further categorized into homogeneous and heterogeneous. Now let's have a look at the definition of pure substance. Okay, pure substance is a matter that has distinct properties and a composition that does not vary from sample to sample. Okay, dua ciri-ciri dia. Ada distinct properties, property dia jelas, boleh dibezakan dengan benda lain. Dan juga, dia punya composition tidak berubah daripada satu sampel kepada sampel lain. Okay, di mana pun dia berada. Okay, so I said just now, pure substance can be divided into elements dengan compounds. So, elements ni by definition adalah substance that cannot be separated into simpler substance by chemical means. Kita tidak boleh kasih pecah lagi dia. Dia yang paling simple sudah. Dan kalau kita nampak contoh dia di sana, HEO2, N2 semua tu persamaan dia orang adalah they consist only one type of atom. Ada satu jenis atom saja. Uh, helium, of course ada satu HE saja. Tapi kalau O2 tu, tu, dia ada dua O. Tapi O saja di sana, tiada benda lain. N2 pun sama, N. So kita mesti ada satu jenis atom saja. Baru dipanggil sebagai elemen. Okay? Kalau compound pula, dia adalah substance that contains two or more elements bergabung secara chemical in fixed proportion okay itu yang keyword dia adalah dia mesti two or more elements okay ataupun kita boleh lingkaskan kepada two or more uh, sorry more than one type of atoms okay contohnya macam H2O kita ada H ada O CuO ada Cu ada O okay NaCl ada NaCl dan pure methanol dia punya formula sebenarnya adalah CH3OH jadi ada more than one type of atoms now let's have a look at Mixture pula. Okay, mixture adalah combination of two or more substances in which the substances retain their chemical properties ataupun chemical identity. Macam mana tu? Okay, for example, kita tengok sini. Kita ada dua jenis tadi. Homogeneous mixture dengan heterogeneous kan? Homogeneous mixture ni defined as mixture yang tiada visible separation between its component. For example, this coin here. This is a bronze coin, yeah? Okay, mata wang gangsa. So, bronze, gangsa, consists of copper, Cu, dan juga tin. Okay, timah, Sn. Itu formula dia. Tapi, kalau kita tengok betul-betul, di mana dia punya timah, di mana dia punya copper. Tidak nampak kan? Jadi, bronze tu sudah wujud semacam tu saja. Memang, kita nampak dia sebagai satu coin saja. Ha, okay. Yang kedua, kita nampak ni ada sugar dan hot water. Kalau kita gabungkan dia, adakah kita masih nampak sugar itu di mana? Of course tidak. Dia akan dissolve kan? Dia larut. So kita tidak nampak di mana sugar, di mana hot water. Semuanya menjadi satu larutan sudah. Ah, okay. Dan last but not least, tengok satu lagi contoh sini gambar. Ini adalah, apa kamu nampak di sini? Kita nampak clear sky, air. Udara itu dia ada banyak macam-macam gas. Kan sebenarnya ada O2, N2, H2, CO2. Okay. Tapi kita tidak nampak mana satu oksigen, mana satu N2, mana satu H2. All we see is air. Fresh air. Haa. So, these are the example of homogeneous mixture. Mixture with no visible boundaries. No visible separation between components. 
So another type of mixture is heterogeneous mixture in which the mixture, okay, the components can be visibly distinguished. Maksudnya, there is a visible separation between the components. Okay, contohnya, ice water. Okay, air yang ada ais macam ni. Kita boleh nampak beza di antara ais dan water dengan jelas. Mana ais, mana water kan? So that means ada visible separation. So that's why ini adalah heterogeneous mixture. Next, kita tengok contoh yang kedua dan ketiga ni. Dua-dua ni dengan jelas kita boleh nampak dia punya visible separation. Ada layer kan? Ada nampak macam boundary. Visible separation between components. So, kita juga panggil dia sebagai visible boundaries between components. That's why obvious ini semua adalah heterogeneous mixture. So, as a recap, matter adalah anything occupies space and has mass. Dia ada dua jenis, pure substance and mixture. Pure substance can be further categorized into elements and compounds. Yang mana element mesti one type of atom, compounds more than one type of atoms. Mixture pula ada homogeneous dan heterogeneous. Homogeneous, no visible separation between components. Heterogeneous pula has visible separation between components. That's it. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.